triumph off the rises from the darkest corners of despair. Today we lift our voices in honor to the many brothers and sisters that we've lost over. This for George Floyd. Make some noise! Make some noise! There was some stuff going on before this. In it, like. There's energy right here, right now. For the change is gonna come. I believe that. I feel that. Coming up next to the stage, all of the voices that y'all heard so far. A lot of times, what happens with the movement is people will go out in the streets. They'll put their lives on their line. They'll put their bodies on their line. And then a year. Of George Floyd. What they what they already did. They already killed. Him. He can't. We couldn't breathe. We saw that already. And you gonna go to face that? How much hate are you feeling? Yeah. How much racism are you feeling? Okay, so coming up next to the stage. Every time a black life is taken unfairly, we become the object of the media's affection. We get overanalyzed on TV. We become the spectacle, the divider of the nation. I'm standing here and talking to all of you today. Why aren't you mad? Why am I the only one upset right now? This is why we are here. Say their names. Where's mine? Thank you. Michael Brown, Sean Bell, Monica Diamond, Matthew Felix, Saheed Vassell, Ramarley Grayhair, Tamara Rice, Philandro Castile, Amadou Diallo, Alexia Christian, Brandon Glenn, Victor Emmanuel LaRosso, Jonathan Sanders, Freddie Gray, Joseph Mann, Richard Perkins, Jamar Clark, Michael Marshall, Christian Taylor, Troy Robinson, Elijah McCain. I just love y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all something that I, I tell a lot of people. The other people come to me and they say, oh, man, you know, what was your brother like? What, what was he like? Let, let me know. I, 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 see what I, I see what I see on social media. And this is the one thing I tell everybody. I say, if you met me and you, stood, and you talked to me and you got to know me, then you got to know my brother. You know who my brother is because we come from the same bloodline. George Perry Floyd Sr., my dad, his dad, and we all, we was two sides of one man. So you met George Floyd just by meeting me. Thank you. I said, brother, would you help me please? But he just turns around and knocks me over. Back down, oh my feet. There's been times I feel, oh, a change gonna come. Oh, yes it is. That's my time, y'all. My comrades and I have been jailed. We've had our ribs cracked by the NYPD, our arms broken. We've been thrown in jail because we wanted to march through the streets and chant the name George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. In the face of fighting for our rights, in the, in the face of demanding justice, we were met with injustice. As we asked for equality, we were met as we asked for an end to police violence, we were met with more police violence. But we are not afraid. No. Because we know who we are and from where we come. Period. And because we know that if our ancestors do it, then we sure as hell can do it. The reality is we have never actually seen justice. Yeah. Do we even know what it looks like? Is it real? Can we believe it? Can we build on it? Is it sustainable? The justice that we are seeing right now is really, to me, feels performative. Yeah. Because truly, if we are saying that Black Lives Matter, yet we are literally forsaken. There is still no justice for Breonna Taylor. Can we accept that? No, no, Will we accept that? No. So what are we going to do? Fight. 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 Fight.
on a warm child. Look here, this Calvary's weak. What are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Stand up and fight back. Through our eyes, we see pain because waterfalls can't stop flowing from mother's eyes after holding on to lifeless hands of children murdered by a system that never gave a damn about them in the first place. Hello. Through our eyes, we see anger. Anger after seeing new neighbors welcome with open arms, whole foods and coffee shops, when all you've received are eviction notices, displaced from communities your families have invested in for generations. Yeah. Through our eyes, we see struggle. The ongoing struggle of being demonized for being to us. While others who do not share our identity are praised by society for the same actions. Yeah, Through our eyes we see strength. Strength in those who have been stripped of the bare essentials for months on end and still figure out how to make ends meet. Through our eyes we see power. Yeah. Power in our subtle nods, raised fists, black thoughts, because the dark past we have in common. We have no guilt for the crumbs we have fought for, nor the fistfuls we plan to take. As we are simply reclaiming the American pie our ancestors were forced to make. Yeah.